Hey! In today's video I'm going to be sharing 8 tips on how to make your model feel comfortable on a photo shoot. I'm so excited to make this video because I love modeling but I also love photography so that goes hand in hand. So for the past 7 years I've done modeling professionally. I started when I was 16 and I've been on so many different photo shoots, worked with so many different photographers. But something I've learned is that it's so important to feel comfortable on your photo shoot. It is literally what you radiate in your face as a model. It honestly helps so much with creating a good photo. And in this video I'm going to break down exactly how you can achieve that. So number one being, it already starts out when you reach out to a model. So when I reach out as a photographer, I make sure my whole plan is as clear as possible. Because imagine if you get a text that says, hey, wanna shoot 12 o'clock? wear this. Of course you're not gonna respond but if you send this for example, so I send over a mood board, the exact times, the location, my outfit expectations, just so she knows exactly what to expect of the photo shoot. It's just so inviting and honestly I can bet you there's a very high chance the model wants to work with you. All right number two, when you get to the photo shoot don't straight dive into the photo shoot. I can imagine sometimes you have a little bit of a time limit and the model only has one hour time to shoot. Still it is so important just to get to know each other a little bit especially when you meet someone for the first time that can be a little bit awkward maybe just grab a coffee beforehand you know take your time to get to know each other and then start shooting number three and this is something I think everybody gets happy from food and music so what I always do is I make sure or not always depends on the duration of the photo shoot but when I'm shooting for half a day or maybe three hours I make sure I have some snacks or I sort out a meal for the model that no one gets hangry and then everybody's gonna get moody and that is just not gonna be very good vibes on the photo shoots and then secondly depending on the photo shoot I bring a little speaker so I can play some music especially if you're shooting with a beginner model just ask the model hey what type of music do you like play that and then you know they get in the flow already because they're listening to the music that they actually love. The last thing I would do before we actually start shooting is to communicate what sort of feel I want to get out of the photo shoot. For example, for this photo shoot, I told our model Flatty that I wanted to create this sort of innocent, sensitive look and feel. It needed to be a little bit dreamy. It makes it so much easier to start shooting because you're not looking for that feeling. You and the model already are on the same wavelength, so it makes your whole shooting process so much easier as well. Oh, I just get so excited about this topic because I feel like the sort of connection you have with the model is so important. Yeah, I just like talking about this. All right, tip number five. Is it five? Correct me if I'm wrong. Whilst you're actually shooting, make sure you're giving positive feedback. Because I can imagine for a lot of photographers, it's very tempting to say nothing and stay quiet because you're like, that's nice. In your head, you're saying that, but you're not actually vocalizing it. Because imagine, you're showing someone a photo you've shot and you actually really like it. And they look at the photo, but they're not saying anything. So you're sort of left in the middle with like, do they like the photo or do they not like the photo? Um, should I keep shooting how I'm shooting? I don't know. But that's exactly the same case for the model. They're posing and they don't actually know if you like it. And if you've been following along with my YouTube videos, you know that I get sometimes a little bit too excited. Oh, yo. Yes, I love it. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is so sick. What? Oh my god. Oh, that is so fat, jongen. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. And of course, there are always situations when it's not actually working out how you want. Then don't get frustrated or upset and be like, shit. Oh, it's not working out. Uh, maybe we should just stop shooting. If you're open about it and say, okay, this idea is not really working out, maybe we can try something else. And you might be surprised because your model can also have an idea or have some inputs. So I'm editing the video now and I actually wanted to add something. You might have noticed in some of my previous videos that I mentioned when I'm gonna shoot full body photos or half body photos, close up photos. This is gonna be full body shots. Gonna stand a bit further away. Your whole body is gonna be in this photo. And from personal experience, I've noticed that it's so nice if a photographer tells me which sort of frame they're getting, because then I know, can I use my hands? Are my legs even gonna be in it? And that is so helpful for your model to know when it comes to posing. Okay, back to the video. 
All right, number six, and that is show the photos you're shooting to the model. So maybe she can have a little scroll and then she can see exactly which poses work and which don't. And while she's showing it, share your excitement. And like, let's be honest, you're standing there on the set, already two hours have passed and you haven't seen a single photo you've been modeling in. And I can imagine it's confronting. The photos are not edited yet, but it's just still so important to show the photos to the model because it can only improve your photo shoots. Then number seven, and this one is also very important, always ask before you wanna touch the model. Like for example, if my strain of hair is, you know, standing like this, just ask like, hey, do you mind if I just fix it for you? Then at number eight, and this might be the most important one of all, and that is have fun during your photo shoot. This is just the biggest game changer ever. You know, you're shooting in this beautiful location on a beach or in the mountains or maybe on the street somewhere, but it is so cool what you're actually doing. You're with someone else shooting, creating awesome photos. That's just something so special, I feel like, because you're creating a little art piece together. And that's the last tip I wanted to give you. These are all, I don't even know the number, but I think there were like 10 tips in here. I really hope they're gonna help you out. If you have any further questions about this topic, definitely ask them down below and you might actually help out someone else as well. I had so much fun filming this video, especially because I've done modeling for a while, but also photography for a while. So it's like two worlds collide. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Bye-bye. Doei.